Hello and welcome. In this video I'm going to show you how to customize weapon, change uh, material, particles and sounds. It will be changing uh, sci-fi burst rifle with the silencer that will be based on will be based on this weapon. So let's get started. So first uh, I'm selecting my player and uh, going to burst rifle silencer and looking in counter browser for it and I will make a copy of that weapon. Well, duplicate, sorry. And let's call it um, Rifle Custom. Sci fi Fi Custom Rifle. Let's open that. And uh, here we can get started. I will save it and I will also assign it to the player already on slot 2 so we can we can quickly test it um, let's start maybe with uh, sounds and as you can see the it has um, a atta silencer attachment so there's override for uh, for that so this is the sound current sound for if the weapon has silencer Let's, we can, um, you know what, let's test, let's, ch let's change it to whatever we need. Uh, silencer, burst rifle, silencer, pistol maybe? Oops, silent. Acid drives for silencer, for example. Or, since it's a single shot, maybe you should, pistol silencer. So we already have we already have different sounds for that weapon, uh, which is great. And let's change the particle, which is effects. Sorry, particles uh, for muscle flash. So we have also override for um, if if the weapon has silencer. So we have muscle flash pistol. We can change it to. Let's change it to um, muzzle flash pistol burst. Oh man! As you can see, it's already it's already different. It's quite a it's it's not the best particle though. And uh, muzzle flash. Let's use shotgun maybe. <laughs> okay, that looks even more interesting. So as you can see, the, that that's how quickly you can change. Uh, you can customize weapon and uh, let's uh, dig into maybe general settings into all, into gameplay logic so grip type will remain the same uh, well we rename it um, rifle sci-fi custom <laughs> and grip type will rename it the same because it's a two-handed weapon so no need to to change that but we can change the weapon archetype in terms of shooting logic so now it's burst rifle so it will uh, make a series of shots which we can also change so i can show you quickly go into burst rifle weapon specific settings burst rifle as you can see shots per burst you can change so we can do for example eight shots whoops eight shots and uh, with uh, maybe bigger interval like half second so that'll be long quite long yeah <laughs> maybe that's that wasn't that great idea but uh, maybe change it to zero one so as you can see the series is quite quite long now uh, yeah, so you can play with that, but let's um, let's change it to single shot, for example. So now, so now it will behave same like pistol, for example. So uh, and let's change the interval shot because now it's point four, for example. We can change to point two, so we can um, shoot my much more uh, often, <laughs> quicker like so or maybe that's even maybe even uh, less 
point whoops point eight there you go and what else we can change so that's that's from the main settings and um, we can change the silencer for example in, in attachment settings uh, we can re remove it so now weapon will be without this attachment but still will keep the gameplay logic so I'm clicking the so it's not automatic anymore as you can see I'm clicking the uh, uh, like uh, every time there you go and let's change the materials of the of the weapon we can override it as you can see here in materials override in mesh section so I will create why it didn't show me okay I will create uh, maybe another variation for this weapon so I will duplicate and make cipher rifle 106 and assign it here by the way is uh, as you can see these numbers one and zero these are material IDs so if you open the weapon go to asset details these are material IDs so it's zero uh, like uh, array IDs so it's element zero one so because you don't have to overwrite all materials you want to maybe you want to overwrite only one of them so here you provide which you want you want to overwrite with this material. So that was 106, and let's open it. And let's actually give this material the look. And as you can see, you have in this material you have plenty of uh, settings that you can do. And let's so let's change some uh, colors to I don't know green. red and um, let's make this weapon well, we can make this weapon yellow I'm not saying it's greatest looking but I'm showing you a technical way to um, to tweak it All right and I guess that's about it we can change the roughness and um, and so on and um, but that's that's not um, not the, not the main uh, cause of this tutorial. I want to show you like how you can create a new material and assign it. So now we'll go to uh, go to our data asset. As you can see, it's assigned. It's different now. So in game, it will be different also. So now we have this wonderful, colorful uh, weapon. <laughs> Same we can do with the attachments. So for example, uh, we have a collimator attachment. So let's collapse that, uh, and we have a laser. So that's another another thing. And uh, attachment materials overrides, as you can see. And um, you can same like with weapon, you can override you can override the attachment mo uh, attachment material. I made a um, few versions for holo hologram, like for the you know dot. Right, so for example, this one is different, and we can uh, we can we can change it. So let it is selected. Let's change it to Hollow Four. So now be as you can see now it's completely different. And same with the with the material of the mesh itself. Although there is not that much color into it, but. Uh, can make another variation urban 4 and um, change some specular yes and um, contrast so it will be brighter and replace it here so as you can see the the attachment material is uh, is different is brighter now and um, what else? A laser. Like I'll show you how to change the, for example, the laser color. Here there is a laser laser sight uh, that you can enable. This is without attachment, so I'll show you the both ways. So this is a laser attachment with a mesh that are that is separate blueprint. But you can also enable laser sight without attachment. 
if uh, assuming you have the socket assigned in, uh, in weapon. So as you can see, it works the same, but without an attachment. And um, I put the socket somewhere, somewhere in the front, um, just for the uh, as a place where laser would spawn. And we can change the color here, the blue, whatever. And there we go. We have a blue one. <laughs> And what else? And so now I'll show you the other way around, which is I will enable the laser back. And as you can see, the laser sight is um, is a separate blueprint. So it's uh, called laser rifle. Let's make another, uh, let's make a maybe child blueprint of that. That'll be laser rifle, whoops, sci-fi. Let's open that. And in laser effects, effects here you have instance parameters. And you have color, so you can also change it to whatever you want. Uh, let's go back here, and I'm assigning the the blueprint uh, here in data asset. So I can, as you can see, it is uh, the mesh is there and it is green now, as I said in. In a, in a blueprint. Let me show you how to uh, play with attach attachments more. I will enable the silencer back since we changed the particle and the sound for it. And let's add another attachment. And let's go crazy and add three lasers, for example. So, as you can see, the attachments are already defined they are in this weapon, and um, but they are disabled. Uh, of course, you can add the new ones. So let me let me do that. So if you click plus, the new attachment array will pop up, and uh, here you have a bunch of settings. So I will call it laser and um, right. Oops. It's uh, better to just to copy over the settings and uh, change them instead of instead of making everything from scratch. For example, I can copy the laser and paste it here. There you go. And let's make another version of that laser, which will be and which will be different color. Uh, for example, I know it's a good idea, <laughs> but we can create duplicate of this and we can play it. there's your side for rifle I don't know, red and let's change the color that will be red one so for example that will be this one will be on the side and here you can check the name of the sockets and for example, we can attach it on the barrel, barrel right socket. So it will be on. We will be one laser on the bottom, on the bottom, two on the sides. So this is attachment socket barrel right. So let's get that name. And where was it? Was this one and the attachment socket name. I'm changing it now here. Copy. And it should be done. So we, now we should have two lasers. One should be green, I think, and then one should be red. There we go. <laughs> and uh, okay, so that's quite a <laughs> quite a disco. So la let's uh, create um, a new one. So I will copy again and uh, paste it in a new new array element that will be laser left and attachment second barrel left which will be this one okay so now we should have three lasers I think <laughs> okay as you can see you can uh, make uh, like <laughs> quite a like a predator predator weapon uh, I'm not sure if the I'm pausing the game and ejecting. I'm not sure if the 
attachments are correctly rotated. As you can see, they're not. We can either rotate the socket or we can uh, change the placement or rotation of the of the mesh itself. So let me unpause the game. And so it's only about the rotation in Y axis, I think. No, in X axis. So rotation 90 degrees. And I will do reload weapons data, which is uh, written about documentation with that. It didn't work, I'm not sure. Maybe it was wrong axis. Yeah. Yeah, well, oh my god. <laughs> We're changing the left one, not the right one, of course. And uh, so I messed it up and it's it was wrong axis. So where was that? Here. Not the rotation in X, but rotation in Y. And I'm doing reload again. Whoa. Need to unpause the game. Okay. Well, since I think it's good, but yeah. Since uh, it was I did it in in pause game, it attached uh, two attachments at the same place. But uh, I'm researching the game. As you can see, it's fine. Yeah. Um, as you can see, also there's a gap here. The intention is we can we can quickly fix that. The intention was to. Uh, because of the collision of the mm, uh, to avoid the collision with other attachments so so uh, laser will be placed will be start collecting uh, will not stop on some collision inside the weapon because from this perspective you don't see it anyway but we can tweak it so let's open show you how you can tweak it So this is laser FX. Whoops, I will stop the game. And you can place it closer, for example. Whoops. There you go. So it starts closer from the from the from the actual model. Let's do it even closer like that. I'm not sure if it will not Oh, okay, it's fine. I was I was afraid it will it will clip into collision and and stop projecting. Okay, let's fix this guy too, and uh, this this other right attachment, not left one, which is here, and that was what ninety degrees in Y. There you go. Or other way around, minus ninety degrees. See, yeah, minus. So, what was that? Right. There we go. So we have this kind of crazy weapon now, and uh, yeah, that's that's about it. You can, of course. Can of course create um, different colors, and different attachments, different models, that replace everything, and um, that's about it. Uh, so thank you for watching, and uh, good luck.